And uh, this edition that we are starting on Monday is a sixth edition. And uh, hopefully, uh, we have uh, waited for long. And uh, I would like to see here that the stage is set. All is set for the, the festival on Monday. And it will run for five days. To, uh, the final is coming on Saturday, 7th of March. So, uh, in a nutshell, I'm uh, going to give you uh, the details of what has been happening and what is going to happen uh, as relates to the festival. Um, you know, this, this uh, event has suffered a postponement. Just uh, last week, we were compelled to postpone it because of uh, some uh, technical issues. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we were able to surmount those technical issues. Uh, the component of this event, uh, which are the local governments, <coughs> The 23 local governments requested for us to give them more time to assemble their team. And uh, as I'm talking to you now, up to now, they are still sending in their entries. So the, the closing date is tomorrow for the entries. And uh, because of the, uh, the lack of time, we have to extend it to tomorrow. And we have given them ample time to submit their team lists and the, the entries uh, so that we will have uh, a very successful competition. Um, we are going to have 16 sporting events in this festival. Uh, like, uh, let me just give you a rundown. We have football, basketball, handball, volleyball, table tennis, tennis, badminton, cycling, chess, scrabble, swimming, golf, hockey, athletics, darts, and traditional sports. Traditional sports involve langa, ayo, and kukwa. So um, to give a, uh, the competition or the festival a wider scope uh, and participation. This time around, for the first time, we're in, improvising with wild cats. We're having wild cats entries. Those who are coming outside the, the scope of the local government areas. You know, uh, each local government will have its own contingent, but uh, those wild cats will come under uh, their own uh, organizations or clubs. So uh, they, they have substantial number of wildcard entries to now. Uh, I'll give you the numbers later on as uh, the press conference uh, progresses. So in a nutshell, that is what, where we are now. Uh, we have also um, venues for these activities, you know, it's not going to be in one particular venue. We have up to about uh, six venues for the competition, all uh, air-marked. There are some events that will hold at Amadou Bele Stadium, and some will hold at Kaduna Township Stadium. Others are the Kaduna Recreation Club, Kaduna Club, uh, um, Kaduna State University, Police College. These are the venues, and Hamdala Hotel also, making six. These are the venues for the competition. So uh, as time goes on, I'm going to give you the, the breakdown of each and every one of us as we go move forward. So as it is now, as at now, we have 850 athletes, athletes only, from the local governments. 
whose entries have uh, arrived. And uh, as I told you, the, the door is still open for the local governments to submit uh, more entries up to tomorrow Sunday. So as at now, we have 850. And wild card, which is going to be higher by tomorrow, is 239 wild cards entries. This is uh, athletes only, not uh, counting on the officials. So altogether, we are expecting over 2,000 athletes and officials in this uh, event. Then, <clears throat> uh, when you go down to the summary of the, the this thing, we have volleyball has the highest entry with 13, 13 teams uh, from volleyball from the local governments. That is excluding the wildcats. Then football uh, has 12 entries excluding the wild cards, then table tennis, 11, excluding the wild cards, then scrabble, 7, then uh, athletics have 17. But uh, this is from the various local governments, and the, it depends on the entries in the individual sports. Because, you know, athletics has two uh, 